Hello. Testing. Hello. Hi, I'm Kiri Amdor. And I'm Nolan Peters, and we are juniors at Abraham Lincoln High School. Hi, my name is Nolan Peters, and I... Had a crush on Beverly for two years, and yet said a cooler guy to ask her out. All right, listen here, bucko. This is my... Our... Poem. poem. Yeah, it's true. This poem is about, like, a fourth grade crush, so it really doesn't mean anything. Fifth grade crush, so it means everything. <sighs> Dark. Dusty. Bleach smelling. Elementary, elementary school. school. I had the crush to end all crushes. One that just grabbed me by the hair and whipped all reason out of me. And replaced reason with me. His best friend, but not quite yet. Picture this. Me and Nolan hadn't even met yet. In fifth grade, you go through mm, too much. Puberty starts. Your voice goes from this to this, settles somewhere here, and you grow hair everywhere. <laughs> I noticed girls, and one of those girls was Beverly. She was the most beautiful girl my fifth grade eyes had ever seen. Her hair smelled like the sweet coconuts of the coast, and her eyes were like clusters of stars in the galaxy of my heart. Yeah, so her eyes smelled like the beach, and her hair sparkled like the sun. You got anything else, Casanova? Uh, yeah, I have more. I could stand on this stage and profess my undying love for that magnificent being for countless hours. But yeah, for now, that's it. We should talk about how you had it so bad for this girl that he couldn't even talk to her. I don't know if we should do Nolan that. Nolan had it so bad for this girl that he couldn't even talk to her. Yeah, that one's true. It was really bad. Dorky dork fifth grade guy, I guess. I was so enamored with her, I just made a custom Lego figurine instead. Which was actually just a pre-made one we named after her. She was a vampire. I don't think we want to get into it. <laughs> Plus, despite his qualms of love and his amazing Lego figure, this man didn't talk to her for like four years and then sent an ultimately cooler guy to ask her out. Ultimately cooler guy? It's JJ? Yeah, he is ultimately cooler. <laughs> 2011, back to school night, class roster, my mother of all people pointed out to me that the woman of my dreams was in my class this year. Me too. I was in that class. Oh, believe me, I couldn't forget because I got put in a group with you instead of the lady of my heart. I remember we bonded thanks to some blue thunderbolts and our really stupid sense of humor. You wouldn't believe how funny pizzas and hot dogs could be in the same sentence. Or a singular brick in the game of I Spy. Or JFK! You know, nobody in here is going to understand any of these jokes, but that's okay, right? They have friends with, they have jokes with their best friends, too. And we've been friends for a pretty long time. Six years is decent enough, I would think. And now that I think about it, we haven't really even talked about Beverly much in this poem. Beverly sucks now, but we're still hanging out. Maybe this poem isn't about Beverly. Maybe, Maybe it's, it's about, about <gasps> JFK! <laughs>